Good day, good day, Spartan Wheelie here, and welcome back to our McLaren Motorsport Manager F1 2021 Manager Mod Save. So I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Welcome back to the McLaren series. Today we've got Singapore, which is looking to be quite the spectacle at rain for practice, rain for quality, and rain for the race. How exciting. We could pick up a decent result here. Hopefully we get a podium or maybe even a race win. We can dream. Of course, McLaren winning in real life has sort of put the bar a bit higher because we did beat them after 10 rounds in the game compared to real life but now we got to get a race win to equal that and maybe even a 1-2 so chances are very low but it will sure make Zach Brown very happy but three days we're gonna just repair the car so move it forward make sure we improve past this time we're working on the gearbox we don't need to keep working on the reliability gearbox what's important around here acceleration maybe we should do the performance of said gearbox and hopefully that will help that performance so continue on and travel to Singapore already. So how much of that did we do? It was about 26. Now it's on 57. So that's a big jump to be fair. Where does that put us? Still 7th with the gearbox. This could be a tough race despite the rain. But, you know, we've got to go on with optimism here. So I'm going to go ahead to the pit crew. Practice Q1, Q2. And I'll see you for qualifying 3. Welcome to Q3 at Singapore. Both our drivers will be participating in this one. Don't worry about that. We came through in 6th and 9th. Which isn't too bad. But... The rain's going to hit very early here. We really haven't had much rain uh, throughout this weekend so uh, thus far. But it looks like it's going to hit Q3 pretty hard. So we're going to be able to do two runs here. We're going to send them out in the soft start. And then we'll wait to the end of the section uh, session because, um, of course, sometimes the rain can fade at the end. And I don't want to get burnt out by that because obviously it doesn't tell you the couple minutes that you're allowed to run after the session. If you start your lap before the session ends, that's a session way too much there. But right now we're 5th and ninth. There's not really much we can do to improve that. The rain hit pretty early, but we're going to send them out at about a two minute mark and hopefully the conditions improve beyond the forecast. But uh, I mean, the, the sun's out, which is great. We sent them out a super soft. We did get the, we did force the soft run in the uh, qualifying two. So if, if it's a dry race tomorrow, we can go longer on the first stint, but I have a feeling the race tomorrow is going to be pretty dreadful conditions wise and we come through in fifth and eighth so Norris goes up one more position there running and I mean the, yeah the track wasn't that dry so that makes sense why we didn't make that much of a gain Hamilton's on pole but I'm happy with fifth and Alonso somehow puts himself on the second row fair play to him but that's qualifying and hopefully that's a sign of things to come because that's decent all right race day here at Singapore and the rain's faded so it's going to be normal conditions so lucky we forced the soft run because yeah, okay. That makes things a bit interesting. We're going light-footed, so hopefully Ricardo can go even longer on that first stint, which would be pretty useful, really. Um, we're sort of... I think I'm pretty happy with 98%. I just can't quite get the full... We're not going to meddle with it now. We'll just leave it. But Lando's got 98%. Ricardo's got 98% as well, so just because the little faces aren't all excellent on Lando's, no need to be discouraged. No excuses for him. No, there is a bit of an excuse because he doesn't quite have an equal car to Ricardo. But um, yeah, he's doing well nonetheless. And here we go. Daniel Ricardo, starting from fifth. Gasly's on really worn tyres. They've metal messed that up a lot. And Ricardo with an awesome start, slingshots past Bottas. And the um, Alpine of Alonso is already in second as well. And the Red Bull fades away as well. So we're right now in P3. The Red Bull dropped from second to fifth now. He's going to have pressure from his sister team driver, Gasly. And now Ricardo is pushing in on second of Alonso. He's going to... That was a corner cut and a half. I've ever seen one, but that's all right. We're going to keep going here. The stewards didn't see it. Um, not yet even. No, I think it comes up pretty early if you corner cut. But there we go. We're going to go high. Look to... Oh, my days. And the Alonso... The Alonso. The Alpine has just fallen back completely. And the Ferrari is now challenging. And we're... Working for that second place. Looks like we're going to get it here. No. Leclerc just has that straight line speed. And now we got the, we invite the Red Bull to the party. Who's now fighting with Alonso. And this is quite the four-way battle. Uh, in two segments there. But. Man, this game's awesome. Look at that. Immense. Now second with the crowd. We're going to give him. Keep pushing on those engines. And we'll give him a bit of tire push as well. Just to hopefully get away from that, that fight. Uh, get it in the correct Tire, optimal tire temperature, that's what I was trying to say. But Norris, oh, Verstappen's under investigation. I think he's got a drive through. But Ricardo right now in P2, and we're going to sound the cooler on the tires a little bit. Same with Norris, because they're in optimal range now. You keep pushing on the fuel. We can always get fuel later back. Um, 
she'll back later. Tires overheated, not what you like to see. We're going to go easy on the tires now. Oh, and Lando Norris has crashed out. Horrific. We missed the accident. He's crashed in the garage as well. And now we just got a solo rider in Ricardo, who we're going to start saving fuel with. Um, Norris was doing well. He had a decent start. He was still in P8, maintained his position. But yeah, Russell's in the top in the points now, which is good to see for him, I suppose. But Ricardo in P2, hopefully we can maintain this and Sainz drops off a bit more. And we could have a decent result here, despite only have one car in the race. If Hamilton crashes out, we're in a dream scenario with Ricardo. Shame about Norris crashing out, but I mean, it was only going to be two or four points. I mean, that's a big two or four points. We saw last episode the impact of having a one-place grid drop. So having one car not finishing does hurt. And I don't think science is going to drop below Russell. But, you know, we'll maintain optimistic. We're going to go long on this first stint. And, yeah, Ricardo in Dreamland. We're going to go on neutral. No, not low on fuel. That is just inviting pressure, isn't it? So, Ricardo, keep going here. Six seconds in front of Alonso, who's still doing well to be on the podium. This is quite a fairy tale podium at the moment. Hamilton, Ricardo, Alonso. Will it stick? We'll see, hopefully. Because it'd be great having an Alpine behind us that we're increasing the gap to. Then have Leclerc. We're going to follow on board Leclerc here just to give us a bit of insight onto that battle. He's actually not that, that close to Alonso, and we're losing our gap to Alonso as well. I must say, it is a bit easier managing the car. Managing one car as opposed to two. And, oh my days, a double crash. Here is Strolls, was halfway in the barrier. And then <laughs> Giovinazzi just pushes him all the way through the barrier. And Perez is out too. This is a mental Grand Prix. It's not even raining. What on earth? Insane Grand Prix here in Singapore. But, yeah, Ricardo in P2. This is, wow, okay. 14 Fs in the first 15 laps. Running beautifully. And, yeah, our tyres are looking much better compared to the others. Look at that. Alonso's tyres are basically dead. We're going to jump on board Leclerc, who made up a lot of time. And hopefully doesn't make up a lot of time on us in... Look. Uh, hopefully... Oh, my days. There's only a four-second gap, and Alonso's pitted. Wowee. Hamilton's going to have to pit soon. We can almost no-stop this, you know? We could, but we're not going to, because that's cheating. So, look how good that... We've got to put that on more often, the soft tires wear slowly, because, I mean, I know they're on the, the super softs, but still, this is so good to see. And we're going to zoom through this race a little bit and go another 10 laps in the future. <laughs> I love this feature so much. I did a cut at the start of the race, but I don't think I'm going to cut away anymore. Um, because, yeah, this is quite quite the intense race. Not what I was expecting when I saw there's no rain for today, but there will be rain. A little period of rain, which is going to make things interesting. Do we pit for that? I don't think we do. I think we can just keep running on what we're doing right now. And as the tyres start to underheat, that's fine. And Alonso's tyres are already da done, so the super soft's not working. I think we'll just follow what everyone else does. So if they go on Inters, we're going Inters. So Alonso's jumped on the Inters. That being said, we could make up a bit of time here. But it's not worth it. We're not going to make up enough time to get rid of Ham uh, to catch the gap to Hamilton. And it looks like Alonso is the only one at the moment on Inters. So we're going to jump on board Leclerc, see if that little box icon pops up. If it does, we'll jump into the pits. Let's, it's worth the risk, he reckons. Well, we'll soon see. But Leclerc is not stopping. So like I said, we're going to follow exactly what Leclerc does. Unless he pits when that, that column. I don't think it's worth it going up for that. Uh, everyone's on Inters now. So we're going to jump into the pits. So I don't know how I missed that. I think Leclerc's on <laughs> Inters as well. That was such a quick pit stop from him. But here we go. We're 20 seconds ahead of Alonso. We're going to jump onto the Inters just to follow suit with everyone else. We don't want to lose time with an unnecessary risk. Like I said, we're not going to get uh, catch Hamilton at all. Gain any time on him. So come on, let's get out there, Ricardo. Nice work. So he's 10 seconds. Alonso is still holding down that P3 despite pitting twice. Um, obviously, Leclerc pit twice too. But sometimes you can lose a lot of time in the pits or gain in Leclerc's case. But he hasn't done it today. Uh, Verstappen hopefully gets signs. And if he gets signs... And then Russell's still running in the points, which kind of annoys... It's good for him, but it's not good for our race, because it means that Bottas won't be able to catch signs, I don't believe. But we'll hold hope. And keep running here. And P2, come on. Hamilton, crash out. Join the list, please. Now, go as hard on the... No, don't go too hard on those tyres, because then you'll crash. We don't need two cars crashing out of this race. That'll be quite the devastating end. To this Grand Prix. And let's get rid of these Inters. Yep. I missed that. That's what happens with 12 times. Okay. Please don't make me lose so much time from that game. 
no, it looks like we're fine. We didn't miss it by that much. And yeah, everyone's on the softs now. So it's a party on the softs until the end of the Grand Prix. And I'm still waiting. What are you doing? Trying to unlap yourself. I swear, Schumacher, I thought it was Mazepin and I really started to sweat, but it's only Schumacher, so we should be fine. He doesn't have irrational thinking like his teammate. No, I'm really joking, Mazepin. You've actually been decent this season. Um, considering how he started, crashing on turn three of his F1 career, not bad. Not bad what he's done for the rest of the season. But come on, Hamilton. If you're going to crash out, do it soon. If you're going to crash out once this season, please make it be today. You know, I'm not saying like injury crash out, just, you know, maybe a mechanical failure. Your engine goes or you lightly top the barrier and your wheel falls off. I'm not wishing any harm. I just want first place. So let's conserve an overtake. Now, we'll save the overtake. We'll keep it on high fuel for now because Alonso is actually closing that gap, which is a bit concerning. But with 10 laps to go, I don't think it will matter as uh, it's really the gap to Hamilton's increasing, not a gap from Alonso. And George Russell has crashed out. So Verstappen, please overtake signs. Oh, Bottas is way too far back anyway. So I'm kind of shattered for Russell now because, yeah, I mean, Mazepin still has never taken him. So he could get 15th if Mazepin crashes. But um, yeah, damn, that's a shame for Russell. He was doing so well staying in front of that Mercedes. But anyway... Uh, we're focused on Daniel Ricciardo here, who's doing quite the spectacular job maintaining gaps and putting in a good shift. Hamilton sets the fastest lap on half use softs, just Hamilton things, and it's final lap already. So, an amazing result from Daniel Ricciardo there. P2, when I said podium in the intro, it was more out of hope. And then when I saw there was no rain, I didn't really think we stood a chance. But here we are. Daniel Ricciardo is going to cross the line in P... One more lap. Hang on. We'll redo it. Daniel Ricciardo is going to cross the line here in P2. 43 seconds of Hamilton, 14 of third place Alonso. And thanks, guys. Good result today. Yeah, fantastic result. One side of the garage. Bit disappointing with the DNF, but drivers are allowed some mistakes, aren't they? Alonso will come in P3. Fair play to the man. We will drop down to fourth place, but a podium, you know, it gives me hope for the rest of the season that we can get that result back if Ferrari have a couple of bad days. And Lewis Hamilton will win. It was never really in doubt unless he crashed out. That Mercedes is just insanely quick. But, yeah, we'll take that result very nicely as we get behind <laughs> the Alpine of Ocon. And that just shows the gap. Alonso is finishing on the podium and Ocon's finishing outside the points. So, that's the gap between the two cars that the AI have in this mod. Now, was Hamilton cheating? No, he wasn't. But Max Verstappen was again. Max. Oh, no, that's his drive through penalty. Okay, that's all right then. Um... I thought he was cheating again with the pass because obviously he was cheating last time out. But no, just his drive-through penalty they served throughout the race. And look at that second-place trophy. You love to see. Where's the confetti? I want to see the McLaren confetti. Even though it should probably be the Mercedes confetti. But, you know, that's fine. We'll take the orange confetti. It looks nice. Second place for Daniel Ricciardo today. Yeah, Zach Brown probably won't be happy with that result because obviously we finished third in the race, not second. Um, but that means we did better than Red Bull today. Yeah, of course I did. Perez crashed out, Verstappen was down the order. So if we just finished above Ferrari, we would have had a good day out in Singapore. Um, I think that's down to Landon Norris crashing out. Because if he got a good eighth place, that would have put us above Ferrari. But what do you do? You beat one team and another team beats you. That's just how it works. But anyway, I'm happy with that. Let's go to the interview with Mark Webber. He will be absolutely... Wait, he's talking about Ricardo celebrations. Mate, you should be doing shoeies with him on the podium. Yeah, he had a great win. Oh, and I've just lost chairman happiness. <gasps> what are you trying to do to me, Webber? How about your fellow Australian? Don't try and get me sacked. Come on, bruv. And what are we at now? Uneasy 30. Please do not drop below that. I don't know what happens. I've never been fired in this game before, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens, I suppose. So, yes, that does confirm fourth place for the time being. Hopefully, we can claw it back. Still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven races that gap could either get bigger or we could close it. And I'm thinking it's going to be the first option at getting bigger because Ferrari are just so quick with the top speed. But optimism, uh, de-acceleration, medium speed, top speed. Yeah, we're sort of not there. That's all right, though. We'll we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. We're not going to even look at the forecast. It says rain practice qualifying, but we'll probably have a monsoon in the race if this forecast anything to go by. But it's realistic, so... Yeah, that will be all for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. We're so close to 800 subs. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that race. Awesome podium for Ricardo. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.